Hey doing guys. A friend of mine gave me a little real pad thing. This is the need it. I have another one but it doesn't have Bluetooth. So I figured I'd show you guys a whole bunch of apps. And using this thing I got uh, a couple weeks ago. I want to review a few different apps. Got uh did the talk pro I might show down here too. I'll show show the I'm gonna show the talk light. The check engine light one, blue driver, scan master, a Ford one. I have a Ford truck, so I'll do that one too. Car assist. See a bunch of them on here. I'm gonna try to do a review. I'm not gonna do them all at once. I'll um, do one. Probably break it up into different videos. That way, it's not it takes forever to do them. So if that sounds good. I'll bring you to the car, and we'll begin. All right, here we go. Sitting in my Ford Expedition. This uh, 2000, 2000 Ford Expedition. Um, did one on the torque, a regular torque before, so I figured I'd do the torque light to see the difference. That we can contrast it with my other video. So this is the torque light. I have not actually tried this yet, so we're gonna be the first. As all these, I'm just gonna get in here and see what it does. Hell if I turned on a car a little bit so we can I'm watching little blue things up here in the corner because it's telling you if it's connecting or not. I don't see it connecting down there. It's saying it's connected up here, but it's saying the is not found. So I'm gonna pull it out and put it back in there. They can find it. Still trying to find it, I guess. Oh, no, I think I found it. It's got some little mesh up here. <laughs> Letting you know what it's doing, at least. And it's still checking, so I'm gonna. Put it to the almost on. Oh, there we go. Now, now I'm connected to it. Back to the ECU is okay. A little light to bouncing all over the place, so I'm finally connected. Now, what we can do, I don't really know yet. I guess we'll find out. Like the other talk, you have different uh, ones you can do here. So I'm assuming like the other talk, you can hold down the thing, and it's gonna let you add a display. Way less than the Talk Pro. That's what you get with the Talk Light. With the dial, graph, display, fuel, air, all data widget, current drive cycle. All right, let's just try. Uh, I'll we'll put a dial up here. Now on the Talk Pro, the ones you had would be green. So you can see the engine RPM. Put that on medium. I'll add another one. Right, let's see what this display is. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Got fuel trims. Let's do the O2 one there. Move that, and let me get to move it. Put that up there. Um, I'm gonna go over here to this uh, little cog. See what's in there. All right, so now you got the fault codes. Add a display, email logs, bunch of things you can do in there. Regular settings and all that. See, it's a uh, pretty. Uh, a lot less than a pro version. <laughs> so they gonna show the log. Can I not even see it? Oh, I don't know where the I 
I just hit the show pending faults. There ain't should be none on here, but and it does say no pending ones. So that's how you would do it. So you can clear them with this. If you go into the fault codes. So if you just want to clear your codes, whatever, show the codes, you can clear the clear the log fault fault the fault codes. So you can either don't have none, so I can't really clear any. But well, let's see if uh do we start up the engine here. Let's see it's coming alive. We'll do a couple things here. Rib says uh I don't know if you can read that. 740, 735. So if you want to check out how accurate your ribs are, you can do that. So 713. Yeah, I guess that's about right. Um, there's many other things to do. It's stuck in the bolts. So you can check, see if your O2 sensors are right. Of course, if you want to add more, oh, there's an all data widget, which actually is, okay, the other version kind of lets you move it before it just puts it, although I don't see the all data code doing anything, <laughs> not sure what that was supposed to do, I'm assuming that it was supposed to, uh, Hmm, show all data, but apparently not. I'll have to figure that out sometime. Fuel air status widget. There we go. Closed loop. Use no two sensor for fuel mix. That's good information. I mean, if you just want to keep on adding certain things, you can go to another one. Um, do a display. engine coolant. How about a large one? So right now it's at 86 degrees. I just had the car running a little bit so it's about right. Shows that it's right in the middle. So I'm guessing that's uh, oh I'm sorry this is Celsius. I wonder why that didn't look right. So I guess if we go in our settings, hopefully we can set that up in there. Units I am not in Canada, so I would need that, and I would like to use the miles instead, and feet would be nice, and yes, I'd rather have the PCI, so, get back to that, yeah, that looks about, little, looks a little more right, 185 degrees Fahrenheit, now if you want to do that, Go to another one. So I'm just going to give you a, just a quick rundown of, you know, what the thing kind of does. So this is the free version of Talk Light. I did a video on the Pro, so you'll be able to see this a lot more you can do on there. There's no real, um, real-time status on everything here. Um, that one has different displays, too. This one just does the display. This one has uh this one has more pretty things. <laughs> Which I like pretty. So air intake temperature, uh, let's do that one. A little medium. So, so let's even reading that. And you can just keep on adding displays there. I don't see a I don't see a limit to it yet. So, you can do your speedometer, the throttle position according to the manifold, has your timing in advance. So, you can see how much advance it is. Yeah, that's about right. And if you want to do a graph, I guess. Not everything does graph, so maybe uh maybe an old two sensor will show it. So it's graph no it is. It's actually not a bad thing for uh, to do an old two sensor. That way you can see uh pretty much where it's gonna be. 
Might do that on the pro version next time. So if you don't like that split, go to the next one. It's time to get boring here, so I'm gonna speed it up. Just show you really quick everything it has. I don't I think my guess because there's little got the little stars next to the ones, those are the ones you probably can use and we'll do the ambient temperature and we'll find out. Let's see what that does. No data. So I will assume that the ones that have the little star next to it is the ones that you can use. In the pro version, it actually comes up all green, so you can find it right away. And on the pro version, I think there's more stuff you could choose from. Not positive on that, but this is this list looks a little shorter than the other one. And look, fuel pressure. Oh, ain't getting no data on that though. Hmm. Well, that's not may not be true what I just said. <laughs> You'll have to play with that to figure that out. So many things in here I could never be able to go over everything. This is a current drive status. Oh, that's not supported though. So on the pro version, you can actually um, put in a car and fine tune it basically to your car, how much gas is in it. <clears throat> that way when we do a trip, it'll do the whole thing, how much gas you're spending. This one does not seem to support any of that. But it does have enough useful stuff for a free version. Not bad at all actually. You know, if you just you know, trying to do the revs, checking your O2 sensors, you want to look at certain things, or you want to clear your codes, this would be perfect for it. What you need is a Bluetooth scanner. It's like 10 bucks. But the Pro version is like 5 bucks, so, you know, what the heck. 15 bucks, you got a complete system. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little one. This is just for the talk light. Check out my other one. It shows the Talk Pro. Hope you like it, give me a thumbs up, and I'll share it on social networks or whoever else you can think of that may have use of it. Thank you for watching.